Five starting today, there is a new requirement when it comes to mammograms. The FDA now mandates that all facilities notify patients of their level of breast density. And advocates say it's an important change that's been a long time coming. Three years ago, Katie Weed's initial mammogram was clear, but knowing she had dense breast tissue, she pushed for further testing, which revealed invasive ductal carcinoma. If I had just waited because I didn't know that dense breasts was a higher risk factor, who knows? Stage three might have actually been stage four. Not every woman is as informed as weed, but under new FDA regulations, all mammography facilities in the U.S. now have to notify women of their level of breast density. That refers to the amount of fibrous and glandular tissue in a woman's breasts compared to fatty tissue. If she has more of that fibrous and glandular tissue in the breast, which we call dense tissue, we would assess her in the dense category. So Dr. Do Georgia Spear is the time division time. chief of breast imaging at Endeavor Health, North Shore University Health System in Illinois. If a woman has dense breast tissue, it makes it so much more difficult for us to find that breast cancer. So it's sort of like looking into a cloudy sky. And when we're looking in the blue skies, we see everything very clearly. And when you're looking into the clouds, it's very difficult to find things. Having dense breasts also increases a woman's risk of breast cancer, so experts encourage women who fall into that category to consider additional imaging tests, such as a breast ultrasound or MRI. Today, Weed says her health is great. The 44-year-old mother of two wants more women to advocate for themselves. If something doesn't feel right, something's not right, and you know your body better than anybody else. Now we should point out that not all insurance plans cover additional screenings like the breast ultrasounds and MRIs, but that could change. Right now, there is proposed legislation in Congress to require coverage for all additional screenings with no cost to the patient.